So this video is all about my Mark 3S upgrade and for this video I was kind of hoping to do a really full video where I kind of go through everything step by step but in all honesty um, I feel like that video would have been so long and I don't think anybody would have sat through the entire thing. So what I'm going to do is just show you some of the stuff I did in preparation and then I've time lapsed the whole build process so you can watch me really quickly build it. Um, but what I'm going to do is, at the end of the video, I'm going to cover some of the things that I found more difficult about the upgrade and some things you want to watch out for. And also whether I think it's actually worth doing the upgrade. So let's get straight into it. So obviously one of the first things I did was just unbox all the stuff. And you can see here that this is the brand new powder coated steel sheet. And honestly, it's really, really nice. I think everyone should get one. Um, I then installed it straight into the printer. And remember that when you do this, you need to recalibrate your first layer height because it's slightly different to the standard steel sheet. I went through this process and it was actually a lot more difficult than I thought. It took quite a bit of time, but you can see that eventually I got a reasonable result and I was able to start printing. So then I was able to move on and print the new extruder parts. I didn't get footage of all of them, just a couple shots, but I think it took me about a day to print all the parts in total. As always, Prusa's online manual is very, very good. Um, the, all the steps are really straightforward, they're broken down clearly, and there's little comment sections underneath each step where people have given their feedback, and I highly recommend reading those because they're very useful. But there's a few little things that I ran into with some issues. Uh, I'm going to mention that towards the end of the video. Up next, I'm going to just show you the time lapse of me building the printer. I hope you enjoy it. So as you can see, I successfully completed the upgrade and everything is working as expected. One other thing I did was design a brand new part in Fusion 360 that supports my uh, Prusa Mark III time-lapse mod. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a card above, go check it out. But now you can print the part for the Mark III S so that you can use that in the future. So now I'm going to talk about a couple of the things that I ran into that were issues. There were only two of them, but it's something worth noting if you're going to upgrade. One of them was when I had to remove the hot end from the old plastic uh, extruder body. The PTFE tube had actually kind of bonded itself to the plastic. So even the manual itself actually says, you know, that removing the hot end is something that you have to be very, very careful doing. And you don't want to go yanking it out. So what I had to actually do was heat up the hot end with a heat gun or you could use a hairdryer or something and eventually it'll just wriggle itself out but you have to be extremely careful because you can potentially damage it beyond repair. The second issue was removing the bond tech gear from the extruder motor and unfortunately you do have to remove it because you have to realign it inside of the new extruder body. The issue I had was I thought I had stripped the lock screws that secure the gear onto the motor shaft but that actually wasn't the case. Um, none of the allen keys provided with the kit actually fitted the lock screw so I had to go and find my own allen key and I believe it was a 1 16th that did it so just be wary of that when you are disassembling yours. If you do strip the lock screw which is easily done proofs do provide spares with the kit but you still have to get the lock screw out which can be a real pain. So is it worth it? Is the Mark 3S upgrade worth the hassle? And my answer would be yes simply because taking the extruder apart is now much much easier in terms of print quality, I really can't see a difference and 
I really don't think there is one. But in terms of maintenance and just being able to get the hot end out and clean it, it's so much easier. And long term, it's really going to save you some serious time. I'm going to be creating a completely separate video about the powder coated steel sheet. So keep your eyes out for that. But hopefully this video has been kind of useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to see more behind the scenes stuff, like photos and videos and that kind of thing, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description below. So before you go, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you that subscribe and watch my videos. It means a lot. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more videos. And please leave a thumbs up on this video if you found it useful. If you want to support me in other ways, there's a link in the description below where you can do that, but it's up to you. If you want to see more of my videos, click one of these and I hope you have an awesome day.